All right, some long division with polynomials. Um, the first thing we want to do is set this up and get organized. That we have 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 13 divided by x plus 4. So when I set this up, you want to notice that we have everything in descending order, but in this one, we, we're missing an x to the first power term. All right, no x to the first power term. So I'd very much encourage you rewrite this so it's zero x's to keep everything nice and organized. Hopefully we can see as we work through this that you wanna have a column for x to the first powers. So our subtraction works very nicely. Less mistakes are gonna occur if you include this zero x's here. All right, next up, let's get going with, you wanna focus on this first term x. Think to yourself, multiplied by what makes exactly four x cubed. So x multiplied by four x squared is going to make four x cubed. Whatever you put in the quotient here, you're gonna to distribute to each one of these terms. So sure enough, four x squared times x makes four x cubed. But then we also have to be careful, four x squared times four is gonna make positive 16 x, and then the x squared comes along. Then we subtract down, so be careful here. We've always, uh, we focused on these first terms so that these will cancel out every time if we've done it right. 4x cubed minus 4x cubed, gone, zero x cubes. But then we wanna be careful on this next one, maybe a little bit of side work here. We have negative five x squareds minus 16 x squareds. So that's gonna produce negative 21 x squareds. It's easy to make sign mistakes there. That's why I like doing the side work over here, just to make sure we're all on track, all right? Now that we've subtracted down, we wanna bring down that next term, even if it is zero x's. And then kind of start again. So we think x multiplied by what makes negative 21 x squared? Well, x multiplied by negative 21 x will make negative 21 x squared. But then we also need to do negative 21 x multiplied by four is gonna make negative 84 x. Repeat our subtracting down. The first terms cancel out, negative 21 x squared. This will become a plus 21 x squared, so the x squareds go away. This shouldn't be too bad, but we can write it off to the side if we need to, zero x's minus a negative 84 x's. As you can see, the double negative is gonna make an addition, so zero plus 84 makes positive 84 x's bring the next term down, plus 13, and start over one more time. Think to ourselves, x multiplied by what makes 84 x's? Well, x times 84 makes 84 x's. Oops, no x with that, just the 84. All right, and then repeat with our 84 multiplied by x is sure enough gonna give us 84 x, just like we planned out. It's gonna be kind of a big number, but 84 multiplied by four is gonna be 336. And then we subtract down. Sure enough, the 84 X's get to cancel. If you want to off to the side here, you can say, well, 13 minus 336. 13 minus 336 is gonna be negative 323 for our remainder. Okay, from here, we could format our uh, overall solution by simply writing the quotient, 4x squared minus 21x's plus 84, plus the remainder over the divisor. That would be a pretty good format for our solution. Um, instead of writing plus a negative 323, over x plus four, I moved this negative out in front, simply made it a subtraction. All right, so I hope this helps out. Uh, get organized from the beginning and a whole lot more mistakes are gonna be avoided. Um, so whenever you skip over a power of x, put zero x's in either the dividend or the divisor, the same rule applies here. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck with it.